And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Captain Boomerang Deserved Better. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, with the Suicide Squad disappointing at the U.S. box office, do you think Margot Robbie and Warner Brothers will give up on making movies that feature Harley Quinn? I know you spoke of the devaluation of the character due to Birds of Prey, and I don't disagree. But despite only appearing in films that have disappointed, I would argue Harley is more well-known and beloved than characters like Shazam, whose films were successful. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, it, this is an interesting question. Because, you know, we kind of sat down and diagnosed and kind of did an autopsy of Suicide Squad. Why did Suicide Squad fail? And we broke down. And one of the reasons I said was the only recognizable character to the general audience in it was Harley Quinn. And Harley Quinn was a character whose value went down as a result of Birds of Prey. I thought her, her, her overall IP value, I called it the devaluation of the Harley Quinn character. Mm -hmm. And so the general audience didn't recognize any of the characters in this movie. And the one they did recognize has been devalued a bit. So that was kind of my take on that. And by the way, Banana Apple sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Banana. So the question becomes now with Suicide Squad kind of flopping at the box office, and we went through nine reasons why that happened. Could this make Warner Brothers, DC, even Margot herself want to reconsider doing any more live action Harley Quinn moving forward? Mm -hmm. On the one hand, I can see why you would think so because, you know, people loved her in the suicides, the first suicide squad, even though not a lot of people liked the movie, a lot of people liked her, but it was very much a critical and, and amongst the audience, a big disappointment film. I kind of liked it, but most people hated it. Then you had Harley Quinn, which I thought was terrible. A number of people seem to enjoy it, but it, it feels to me, and maybe I'm wrong, this is just my perception, it feels to me that despite the fact that it had some positive buzz when it first came out, I feel like that has fallen away. I don't hear people talking positively of, of Harley Quinn or uh, Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley I don't hear people talking positively about it anymore. So there's that and now with this. But I would argue... I think they still see value in this character, uh, both Margot Robbie and DC. And by the way, Kevin Cow sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Kevin. Um, because unlike Birds of Prey mm -hmm. and unlike the first Suicide Squad, people love this movie. I mean, not everybody, obviously. No, no movie has everybody love it. But for the most part, the reaction to this film has been overwhelmingly positive, overwhelmingly positive. And Harley Quinn, while not my favorite character in the movie, was a very strong part of the movie, in my opinion. And so what happened to the film was not a result of people rejecting the character of Harley Quinn. You know, again, Rob and I went through this big, long list of nine different reasons about why this movie flopped. And, and we even said before the movie opened, we said, we're really excited about this movie. But we think it's going to struggle at the box office for all these different reasons. And sure enough, it did. So I think if Margot Robbie and the folks at DC looked at this and thought, well, this is because of Harley Quinn that we had this bad result, that would be one thing. But I don't think they're thinking that at this moment. So I don't think DC or Margot Robbie are going to be deterred from doing more live action Harley Quinn, whether it's going to be Harley Quinn standalone or in more... Um, uh, ensemble kind of roles. We'll have to wait and see, but I, I think we will see more live action Harley Quinn with Margot Robbie playing it when I don't know, but I do think it's coming. What do you think about this? I mean, you've seen the results of suicide squad. I mean, you saw yeah. the movie yeah, and then you saw the box office results. Yeah. Do you think right now DC or Margot Robbie are second thinking whether or not they want to do a live action Harley again? I don't think they're second thinking at all. No, 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 not at all. I think um, there, there does become an issue uh, I don't know if that's fair to say, actually. Of, I was going to say of oversaturation of a character where you're just like, ah, oh, you're everywhere, but you're great, but you're also everywhere. Um, like my grandma used to say, give them a chance to miss you, baby. Um, <laughs> like, like, give them a, give, give us a chance to miss 
Harley Quinn a little bit because especially if you're you're rolling the character out in a bunch of stuff and one of it kind of flops. I don't want to say Birds of Prey was a flop. Personally, I really liked Birds of Prey a lot. Uh, I thought, yeah, I liked it a lot. However, give us a chance to miss you. We absolutely love her in the role. She's got so much coming up. I mean, you she has enough material that she'll be working on. She's got Barbie and I, I don't know when they're doing Pirates of the Caribbean and or when they're doing the Wes Anderson film, but give us a chance to miss Harley a little bit. And then I think that, I mean, there's been a lot of rumors about Gotham City Sirens, but you know, Margot Robbie has said that she really wants to bring Poison Ivy uh, into the mix. So I think if she comes back again, it'll definitely be an ensemble film and there'll be some great casting for whoever, I, this is what I think, whoever ends up being Poison Ivy, but I don't think they're thinking that at all. People love the character. Girls love the character. Guys love the character. She's so perfect in it. Like, talk about perfect casting. No, we want more Harley Quinn. Just, just you know, enjoy the other projects and, and give us a chance to miss her. So when she does come back, we're like, yeah, here we go. We're excited, you know. I, you know, somebody, who, who was it in the live chat that said it? Uh, somebody in the live chat and I missed. Oh, yeah, uh, Jackov says in the uh, live chat they should have made that joker and harley quinn movie i agree this looks listen i get it i know i know a lot of people did not like the iteration of the joker in the first suicide squad movie it is my least favorite iteration of joker but i still liked it i still liked jared it was different it was a different joker but i tell you what i loved and i make no apologies for this screw y'all if you don't like it <laughs> The, that Jared Leto Joker, that Joker and this Harley Quinn dynamic was so gorgeously toxic. It was so beautifully damaging codependent. It was such a car wreck to watch that I could never take my eyes off it. That To me, the one of the biggest problems or, or one of the things that easily could have made, I think, Suicide, the first Suicide Squad movie better was... If they had just given us more Joker with Harley, because to me, that was dark magic. I totally agree. It was dark yeah. magic. I love the way they interacted. I love their characters together. And instead of having a legacy of Joker and Harley, and then later on having Harley trying to move on from that, they gave us a quick little glimpse of Joker and Harley. And then everything is supposed to be post Joker. And I just personally think that Joker works better with his Harley. And I think Harley works better with her Joker. And I just really wanted that to see version. That. Oh my God. Of and I, Joker works. I like him more in the scenes with her than yes. like, like I, I didn't even Jared Leto. I love Jared Leto, but even in uh, justice league in the post credit, I didn't even really like that. I was like, they're one they're It's like Bobby and Whitney. Like I need y'all together. I need to see you're crazy together. Um, but yeah, I totally agree with you. I'd like to see more of that. Do now you think they, well, he will return? Us? Well, I mean, look, we, we, he, he came in for the, uh, for the HBO max version yeah. of justice league. We saw him at the end there. Look, and, and one of the things James Gunn did in Suicide Squad, and I won't give specifics, but without saying Joker, there's clearly a scene in this Suicide Squad where she, Harley is directly talking about her experiences with Joker. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. So I would love to see, I would love to see that by hook or crook, whatever, the two of them end up getting back together again. Let their madness be Chaos. unleashed. On an unsuspecting world. And then maybe after a full movie, because we got so little of it in that Suicide Squad. And and that was all we got. And then they just rushed off and moved on from that. It almost when, felt like it was 20 minutes of it or something. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it's, 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 it. it's kind of crazy. And I would love to see if they could do that. I think that would get a lot of people very excited about it. I just think it would give Harley more of an opportunity to really shine. I think it would give Joker the opportunity to shine. I, I would just like to see. Now, I know, listen, I know not everybody agrees with that. And that's yeah. perfectly cool. And maybe it wouldn't work. Maybe it'd be completely Well, they've, got, they've done a good job of, because there's always that thing of, if there was a Joker and Harley movie, 
of, I just want to see more of her, you know? And yeah. it's like, okay, let's give her a spinoff. So they kind of did it in reverse where it was like, let's just give you Harley. And now if they take it into, okay, let's put her back together. I think, I think either way, you know, if they bring back her and the Joker, if they do Gotham City, if they bring in Poison Ivory, but they're absolutely not done with her as Harley. People want to see more. I agree. All right. The question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Like with the lack of box office success, which is a modern tragedy because Suicide Squad is so freaking good. James Gunn just crushed that movie anyway. But with the lack of box office success with Suicide Squad, what do you think is the future for Harley Quinn in live action? Do you think maybe Margot Robbie and DC might second guess doing more? Do you think they'll push ahead and do more with her? How are you guys thinking about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.